when the whole world is against you, launch more satellites. It seems that this was SpaceX's motto, even after having to deal with a FAA report against the satellites, a complaint letter from Iranian government, tons of fuss from customers and scientists, and the very sun that literally attacked on Starlinks. To give you a bit of a background, Starlink are constellation satellites launched and operated by SpaceX to provide internet coverage to more than 50 countries and to make a few billion dollar extra cash as a side hustle. There are over 5,000 small Starlink satellites in low Earth orbit. Even though SpaceX already accounts for more satellites in operation than rest of the Earth combined, the company announced their plan is to deploy 12,000 satellites in near future and eventually to make it up to 42,000. But mm. not everyone is eager to see Starlink mm. to succeed. While some might have some beef with Elon Musk, some do come with serious reports like the FAA. Again, we hear the name FAA. They were probably never been talked about this much during their entire history than they are in the last few months. So, after that Starship investigation that seemed to be going on forever, they gave a report to Congress about Starlink. And what did they say? Well, they reported that pieces of SpaceX satellites can fall down on Earth and kill someone. The claims are that by 2035, 28,000 fragments from Starlink satellites falling back to Earth could survive re-entry each year and injure someone. But then SpaceX responded that the Starlink satellites are designed in a way to burn up completely during re-entry, so they pose no risk to anyone. However, the FAA reported that the chance of a satellite piece hitting and killing someone on Earth will probably rise to 61% each year. But SpaceX says that the FAA probably studied old satellites from the last century, and the report was based on a 23-year-old study conducted by NASA and focused on satellites that were not designed to be demisable. Thus, they don't trust them. But FAA also said in the report that the same particles could damage an aircraft and potentially cause an airplane crash, and the probability of an aircraft accident due to falling Starlink satellites in 2035 would be 0.0007% per year. But SpaceX says that the FAA didn't even contact them to get some more data about Starlink, and the report is nothing more than the culmination of several egregious errors, omissions, and incorrect assumptions. In addition, SpaceX claims that it has deorbited 325 of its satellites since 2020 with zero debris being found. If you want to access to more educational videos about space exploration, don't forget to subscribe. It's free. The FAA is only one of many anti-Starlink protesters. I don't want to get drowned, so I won't dive into customer complaints who pay up to $2,500 for installation and about $250 a month and aren't satisfied with the costumer service. Also, there's Iranian government sending a complaint letter to Elon Musk, and scientists who say they can't observe the space comfortably because Starlink satellites leak low-frequency radio waves and make it difficult to make astronomical observations. And then there's Sun, taking some real action without saying anything. The thing is, around 40 out of the 49 Starlink satellites launched at the beginning of 2022 by SpaceX were deorbited because of an unexpected sting in the tail from a solar storm. The official company statement implied that increased atmospheric drag from the unexpected solar event somehow resulted in the loss of control of these satellites. Though the satellites were commanded to take cover from the storm by flying like a sheet of paper, they failed to carry out the maneuvers so they were significantly impacted by a geomagnetic storm. If you want to know more about geomagnetic storms that really hit the Earth, you can check out this video. Geomagnetic storms heat Earth's upper atmosphere, and it was assumed that those warm air particles literally reached up and slapped the Starlink satellites. Although SpaceX says that the deorbiting satellites pose zero collision risk with other satellites and by design are burnt up on atmospheric re-entry, scientists have some other questions. Why did Sun only hmm. hit those Starlink satellites? That led some SpaceX skeptics to think that these satellites were either malfunctioning or had some other technical issues, and Sun kinda added up to it. With 2 million subscribers worldwide, Starlink is doubtlessly one of the fastest internets. But it seems that problems won't end anytime soon. 
and for a reason or another, Starlink has its own haters alongside with its fans just like Elon himself. We'll see together, where will all these controversies take Starlink to? Are you Team Space X or Team FAA in this never-ending chaos? Let us know in the comments.